everyone, みなさんこんにちは。Today I'm with Atsuego. Thank you so much for coming.、Um, and I just want to basically ask you some questions about what it was like in your 20s in terms of your career. What it was like in my 20s? So, this is the first one. The first one 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 is the first one. The YouTube をやったりとか、うん、あと書籍とかアプリの開発をやったりとか、英語学習に関するサービスの提供等をやっています。はい。はい、で、20代の頃って YouTube だったりとかいろんな活動をするとかまあそういう予想はあったんですか？ああ、そうですね。まあ、I started my YouTube channel in 2010, so like 12 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I started、uh, Uh, my YouTube channel was not really to make money, but I just、mm-hmm. wanted to kind of like have some opportunities to speak English because、mm-hmm. I was learning English at that time.、Oh, and、okay. I was kind of like desperately looking for、um, uh, places where I could talk in English. But I was in the city, so I was in the city. And I found out that like, YouTube was becoming a thing in the、mm-hmm. States, and I thought like, I could get some feedback from native speakers if I talk in English on YouTube,、oh. and that's how everything started. And so, I was like, 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 オーストラリアの大学院に行ってて、はい、でもまあそれまでにじゃあ17歳で英語を勉強したんですけど、うん、最初英語喋れないとこから喋れるようになって海外の大学院に行かないといけないとか、うん、やっぱ会計士だったんですけども、うん、その専門性を身につけるためにその会計学を勉強するとか、うん、まあそういう過程を通じて物事をこう戦略を立ててなんかこうトップダウンで逆算して、まあ、何をするのが一番そこにたどり着くのに近道なんだろうっていう。逆算思考っていうんですかね、うんうん、そういうのを、えー、身につけたのが学生時代24歳ぐらいの時かなっていうそれまでかなっていうふうに思ってますちなみに逆算思考っていうのは何て言うんですか Working backwards Working backwards Connecting the dots looking backwards Connecting the dots Those are Steve Jobs words <笑><笑>いいですね but,、uh, はい、Yeah that's, that's incredible、うん um, But especially in that time you know like you're growing so much you're thinking about a lot of different things、yeah. なんかその時期で一番辛かったこと教えてもらってもいいですか辛かったこと、はい、そうですね単純に結構向こうの、まあ、大学行かれてるんであれだと思うんですけどそういう西洋圏の大学って多くの場合結構課題とかがすごい多くてその単純にこなさないといけない量が多かったっていうのがつ、まあ、辛いところかなとは思ったんですけどなんかもともとその挫折したりとかすごい悩んだりとかするタイプじゃなくて。そうなんかそれも思い出したのがそういう勉強とかをし始めてからなんですけど結局なんだろう淡々と考えて努力をしてたら基本的に成果って出るなと思ってものすごい難しいことじゃない限りなので失敗とかしてもなんかそれは成功の過程なのかなっていうふうに思うようになった。So it's, it's all about like how you look at it, right? So like when you fail, is it really the ultimate like Result of、yeah. what you were doing, probably、yeah. no, it's just one of the steps that you were taking、mm-hmm. in order to get to the goal, right, right? Right, so that's how I like started being able to like look at things.、Mm-hmm. Probably in the past, you know, I'd never you know made a lot of efforts, so I wasn't really sure like what I failed, like that was the right, outcome. Right. But now I kind of take it as a just 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 part of the process, I don't、mm-hmm. really think it's. A failure, failure really. It's a learning experience for me that feeds、right. into my future、mm. betterment of my career and stuff. So, 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 so,
different ways of defining what failure is. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you can define failure the way you like, I think. Mm. And if you kind of define it positively, then you can turn it into a really positive experience mm. that leads to future success. So, mm. Mm. do you think that's just how you? Are as a person, or do you think that there was something about you that changed over time? もうこれは本当に後から手に入れたものだと思っていて、もう最初からすごいポジティブパーソンとかではなかったけれども、なんかこう英語とかも勉強してじゃあテストでいい点取ったみたいなそういう経験から頑張って結果が出るっていう。そので結果出なくてもそのままちゃんと考えてじゃあどうすればいいんだろうって考えて続けたら結果が出るっていう小さな成功を。こう積み重ねていってそれがまあ自信になってでそれがマインドセットになってあこうやって物事って動くんだなっていうふうに考えれるようになったっていうのはあります、ね。なるほど。They really say confidence is built by actual like things that you do. Yes. It doesn't. You can fake it till you make it, but real confidence does come from like actual things that you're trying out. Yeah, I can't agree with you more because you know a lot of people say I can't take action because I'm not. Confident,、mm. but confidence comes after, after. taking、okay. action. So yeah, it's, it's、yeah. not like I'm not confident, so I can't take action.、Mm -hmm. You've got to take action to be confident,、right. and then you can take more action thanks、right. to the confidence. That's、mm -hmm. how it works. So the starting、yeah. point is taking action, not、mm -hmm. really building confidence. Right,、mm. right. I mean, I think that's like a common misconception, like all the time,、mm. and.、Uh, Yeah, that's where like kodo ryuk comes into place, right? So, 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 自分がやってできるかってやっぱ不安じゃないですか。何も成し遂げたことがなかったら、だけどその成し遂げた経験っていうのがそのポジティブサイクルを作る上にすごい重要なんで、なのでまあちゃんと自分をまず信じてあげて、でがむしゃらに努力するんじゃなくてちゃんと考えてこうやったらいいんじゃないかっていうふうに考えながら努力をしてあげるっていうのが大事かなっていうふうに思いますね。あ、そうなんですね。That's like a much more logical approach to a certain extent. うん、それも大事な時もあると思いますけど、うん、なんかそ,のそれでなんか20年とか30年とかやっちゃう人もいるじゃないですか。うん、After 30 years, like looking back, oh, I should have done this this way, that way, then that's too late because you only live once, right? Right, you have、right. only a limited amount of time. You've got to take that into account because、うん、in early 20s, it's very difficult to kind of Feel or understand that your life is limited.、Right. You know, when I was a teenager, I thought like this life is gonna go on forever, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. but it's, it, it doesn't work like that. And also, the quality of every year changes as well. It's not like, okay, so I'm 20 years old, so I've got another, say, 60 years. But if you look at the quality of the 60 years,、mm -hmm. is it really the same as the 20 years that you have lived times? Three. Is it really exactly the same? Quality wise, probably different.、Oh, okay. Right? So, your life, considering the quality、mm. and quantity, I think it's much less in terms of amount than what you think that you have in the future.、Oh, know what I mean? So,、okay. I'm, yeah, I'm 32 years old now,、mm -hmm. and probably I can live another 50 years,、mm -hmm. poss possibly. And is that 50 years exactly the same as maybe? You know, twice the amount of what I've lived so far.、Mm. Maybe not, because I'm gonna have to take an extra effort to maintain what I am、yeah. and what I could do without thinking. Maybe in the future,、mm. I'm gonna have to consciously make an effort to keep being able to do right. Yeah, right. what I have been able to do without、mm. thinking. And yeah, so, だからやっぱりちゃんと考えてあげるってすごい重要。で考える力っていうのをつけていかないと、うん、そのエフィシエントにどんどん自分がなっていかないと、うん、なかなかいい人生の積み上げってしにくいんじゃないかなって、うん、その考えるスキルっていうのは、まあ、その考えることは、like、working backwards っていうことなんですかそれともどういう思考をあもちろんそう working backwards もそうだしやっぱその単語を覚えるみたいな簡単なことであってもああなんかとりあえず単語を覚えようじゃなくて。うん What would be the best way to learn 
Well, what would be the best, yeah, yeah. best way to memorize vocabulary? Mm -hmm. For example, when I was working at Deloitte, I was always thinking, you know, what would be the best course of action I should take to become a manager, like minimizing the amount of effort I put in. Mm -hmm. So, like, without thinking probably, I would have just you know, put in all my time and effort so that right. you know, I could become a manager, but... Uh -huh. Like, like prioritizing these tasks yeah, which will get you to prioritization, that instead of just doing everything they tell you, yeah, right? Mm. Okay. And that's an applicable skill, like you mm. can transfer the skills to like mm. all different arenas of your life. So it's very important to have a thing, like take a step back in the grand scheme of things right now, what's the most important, what's less important, mm. you know? Mm. Many people are like, kind of like, you know, put things in parallel and start Total working levels. on, yeah, yeah, yeah one yeah, thing yeah. at a time. Mm -hmm. Maybe you now without really considering the order of priority, which is not, oh, yeah, something that you should be doing, wow. I guess. Mm -hmm. That I mean, I feel like that's a hard lesson to learn. Like I'm sure that didn't just like come to you immediately, you know? Mm. Uh, maybe so, it so, did. So. Maybe it did. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I yeah. think uh, it's hard to know how to approach things. You so. know, whether it's studying a language or how you want to plan your life, your mm. career. Mm. So like having those tools to kind of guide you when you're doing these things is like. Way better than just going in blindly, mm. right? So this thing. That's a really good answer. But yeah, that's pretty much all my questions. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.